Hi, I'm Lisa, and today I'm going to show you how to make a scooty, which is a hood with a scarf attached. Um, I looked on YouTube for a video on how to make it, and there were a few, but they were confusing because um, there was no pattern. They were just kind of cutting it out freehand really fast. And I've been sewing for over 30 years, and it was confusing for me. So um, I know it must be confusing for some of you. Um, basically, I found this free pattern online for a scooty, and I printed out the pattern. I'll give you a link in the comments below. And um, I printed out the pattern. Here's the actual hood itself. There's four pieces. I had to tape the pattern together. This is your hood. This is how your pattern should look like. Okay, and there's two, I'm sorry, three pieces to this pattern. One, two, three. This actually goes down the middle of the hood so you don't have a point sticking up on top. And then for the scarf itself, um, it says to cut four strips eight inches wide by 45 inches long. Okay, and that's, so there's no pattern for the actual scarf itself. You just have to do the instructions. Now, I found a, um, my fabric was long enough, I didn't have to cut four pieces. Um, this is actually one piece um, that's long enough. Otherwise, if you have four pieces, you'll have two of the lining, two of the out outer fabric, and you would stitch it together here. So I've got um, a long piece here, and then also a piece for the, for the lining. Okay, so I have my hood cut out, and then I'm using the pink for the lining. I have two of these and two of these. So here's your hood and the lining. Then you have your two little pieces that will go down the middle of the hood. Then I have two long pieces for the, the scarf. One for the outside and one for the inside for the lining. Now I'm using a, a lightweight material because, well, we're in Florida. I don't need a real heavy one. It's like a t-shirt fabric. Now because it's light, I'm going to use a little interfacing in it. Now this is just a lightweight iron-on interfacing. Very inexpensive. Um, one side is soft, the other side has little dots on it. And that's what you iron to the fabric. You turn this towards the fabric and just iron it on and it's going to stick to the fabric. And that's just going to give it some stability. Okay, and I've done the same thing for the lining, sewing the right sides together and putting um, the middle piece down the middle of the hood. Now I'm ready to sew the hood and the lining together and it's only going to be sewn across the front, right sides together. Okay, I have the hood and the lining right sides together. I've pinned it all around the outside and I'm simply going to stitch just on this front section, right around the front of the face. I'm going to stitch around there and then turn it inside out. Okay, I've sewn the hood to the lining and I've turned it back right side out and I have ironed the the edge to make it easier to work with, pinned it, and I'm just going to do a little top stitch around the edge. It's coming along nicely. Okay, and you can see I added a top stitch all around the edge. I did it in a pink thread. And so the hood is done and I'm ready to add it to the scarf. Now to attach the hood to the scarf, I've laid out my lining fabric here, the pink, and um, I found, first found the exact center of the pink piece for the scarf, find the exact center, which was right here. I laid the hood right sides together and attached it with pins. I pinned it across here. You can see I've got the right sides together. I've got three layers of fabric. 
the hood, the hood lining, and the scarf lining. Okay, now I'm going to baste across here to hold it together. Now what's going to happen is, when I turn it right side out, this is what the inside is going to look like. Okay, after I put that together. And after I'm done with that, I'm going to take the outer part of the scarf, the scarf fabric, and I'm going to sew it there over top of what I've already sewn. And you're going to go all the way around the edge to right here and start on this side and go all the way around to the end of the scarf and back all the way around the edge, leaving this part open so that you can turn it inside out. Okay, and then you'll have to stitch the part together that's, that's left. Okay, so what I'm going to do right now is my basting, and then I'm ready to put the other part of the scarf on there. Okay, now I'm ready to add the outer layer of this scarf to the hood and you can see I've attached it all the way down through there and pinned it together I believe in measuring twice and sewing once and this is a stretchy fabric and I don't want it bunching up as I sew so um, normally what I'll do is start in the middle and I'm going to sew all the way down that end and then I'm going to start back where I left off and sew down this edge so I have the complete edge sewn together and then once I have that together I'm going to start right here and I'm going to sew that edge and then finish off with the end down here because I just don't want it bunching up so I'm going to sew this side I'm going to come back and sew this side and then I'm going to sew the end together and do the same over here so this will still be open open, and that's where I'll turn it um, right side out okay okay I've stitched all around the outside of the hood including the ends there all the way up to here this is all open and then starting here, stitched all the way to the end. And now I'm just going to turn it inside out. Okay, and when I flip it inside out, here's the hood. You've got your scarf. And you can see this is where I flipped it. So I've still got this opening, and that's the last thing that I'll need to stitch closed. So I'm going to stitch that closed. You can also add a top stitch if you want around the edge. I went ahead and pinned the open edge together, and that's all I have left to sew. So I'm just going to sew that together to finish the, the scarf edge. Okay, and I finished top stitching the back of the hood together, the final piece. And it's finished. And this is my finished scooty. It came out nice. And you can always make the scarf longer or shorter. Um, you can add like little buttons or bows. You can add a ruffle around the hood. And, uh, and fix it up. And I have a confession, this is the first one I've ever made, so thank you for sharing it with me.